I came to medical school planning to be a surgeon. I grew up in a small rural uh, community, but small high school, and kind of the, the star of our high school had gone on and become a surgeon, and we all admired him for what he had done. I thought this is what I want to do. And one morning we came out of surgery, it was in August, and I walked into the waiting room and I suddenly realized, I don't know who we just operated on. I don't know anything about that person. Is anyone going to be in the waiting room? Is there anyone who cares about this person or, or will be there to talk to us? And it really unsettled me. And so when we finished our surgery rounds that morning, I went over to see my faculty advisor. And, and he said, there's a new specialty called family practice. It's just starting. We have one faculty member here now. And wow, I fell in love with it and have never regretted that choice. What I enjoy and appreciate and value are the long-term relationships with people. I get to become part of their lives. I become part of their families. Uh, it brings me meaning and value to what I do in terms of how I work with them. One time my wife and I, after church, we're gonna go visit some friends and, and another couple said, why don't you come over to our house and have lunch? So we walked in the front door and there were 22 children under three years of old sitting on the floor. They had, all had on white t-shirts that said, I love Dr. Jim. And in our church, I had delivered about 25 babies over the last four years, and they had decided to throw a special party for me. But it was, to me, such a very pleasant time to, to reconnect with the kids, reconnect with the families. That was really special. When I left the uh, training program at Christmas Santa Rosa, and our residents were expecting me to talk about uh, some of the accomplishments that we've had through that program. I was reminded of the book, uh, Life's Final Chapter, How We Die by Sherman Newland. And at the end of the book, uh, in his epilogue, he writes, I hope you can read between the lines a call for the return of the family physician. He said, we know that we need someone who knows us as well as the paths by which we approach death. At such times, it's not the care of a loving stranger, but the touch and the care of a long-term friend. And I believe that, and I've had the opportunity many times during this 50 years to accomplish that with my patients.